Good morning everyone, it's Daryl. How you guys doing today on this bright sunny day? 66 degrees and beautifully sunny weather here in Michigan. And you can see things are going on. The garden's growing, the flowers are coming in even though they need to be weeded a little bit. And I say it's a beautiful sunny day here in the neighborhood. We got a new patio umbrella and the neighbor's getting ready to get a new pole barn put in. So I'm over here working on the PowerMate 43cc mini cultivator. And I've worked on this at least once before, maybe twice before, but now it has lost compression. It belongs to a friend of mine and has no compression now, or almost no compression. I think it's like 60 pounds, which is clearly not enough. So we're going to pull the upper cylinder apart, have a look inside the cylinder at the rings and piston, and see what it's going to take to get this going again. It might not be worth fixing. But then again, we'll have to wait and find out, won't we? We'll start by removing just as much as we need to to access the cylinder jug and piston. So, and we probably don't even need to pull off the recoil right now, but I might anyway. But we'll definitely be taking off the spark plug wire, the plastic intake carburetor cover, the muffler cover, and once we get those off, we'll go from there. And those are just a matter of some uh, standard Phillips combination slotted head screws that should be pretty easy to remove. Well, that was easy so far. We had uh, two screws for the muffler cover and I think it was three screws for the plastic cylinder cover. And we still have the muffler, carburetor, and coil attached. But I'm going to try and see if we can get this off there without pulling all that off at least right yet. So what we're going to do is next we're going to take out the four Allen head bolts that hold the cylinder jug to the crankcase. And those are four millimeter. And if you don't have a T-handled, I use just a regular Allen wrench and then I'll hook a pair of channel locks or pliers to the end of it for leverage to turn it to break them loose. Alright, we went ahead and pulled the carburetor off to make everything easier to take apart. So, but you can see right now by how shiny that piston is and how scratched up it is on the exhaust side mostly that this engine ran too hot, most likely by lack of oil possibly not enough oil mixed into the gasoline or a chance that maybe it sprang an air leak somewhere and was running too lean but definitely burn that up there on the exhaust side but like I say there's still hope for it the rod bearing seems to be nice and tight and the piston wrist pin bearing seems to be good and tight so there's a chance we may be able to replace the piston and wrist pin and the cylinder jug and put this back together without too much expense. You can see there's a little bit of goop down in the crankcase so before we if we decide to do it and before we decide to do it we would definitely clean that out with a solvent maybe just like two stroke gas and oil mix just to flush it out um, maybe a parts cleaner it doesn't really matter what you use, but if you use an aggressive cleaner like a parts cleaner or solvent, then you need to apply a liberal amount of oil into the crankcase to lubricate the bearings and such again before you reassemble it. Because if you wash all the lube out, then you're going to have a problem once you reassemble it. So always remember to re-oil a lower crankcase, including the bearings, pins, anything that moves, to... Um, Make sure you don't burn it up when you start it back up again. Now let's have a look at the actual cylinder jug itself if we can. You can see it's right here. 43 cc. It's not a huge size. It's almost about the size of what you'd have on your old Honda road bikes. Those little 50 cc road bikes they made back in the 60s and 70s. Had an engine not much bigger than this. And if we look down the exhaust port side there, we can see evidence of scoring and metal transfer in there as well. <clears throat> so if we can get a deal on a new cylinder and 
piston kit, we can transfer over the intake block and the muffler and clean the crankcase up and reassemble this and have this running again in no time. Let's see what we can find. Well, I looked all over on eBay and on the different parts sources on internet, all the big uh, small engine repair services and such. No one had parts available for the PowerMate cultivator or anything PowerMate at all, really. I found one man on eBay who was selling a replacement piston and rings for like $12 and another person who had the cylinder jug for $35 or $40 but they were both out of stock and expected long delays in shipping. Since the parts are difficult to locate for this unit I've decided to tear it down and sell it piece by piece for parts for other people who might need some things off it and fix up their own machines. It just doesn't seem worth the effort to rebuild it considering the lack of availability of parts and possible other damage to the lower engine. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.